Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming, and this is the Walking Dead Road to Survival Epic 5 Star Army Update, September 12th, 2016. I've been getting a lot of requests to do this video ever since the last Level Up tournament, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I've been working on. got a few people tiered up, got some ARs working, and I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think should be the next group of characters that I actually work on? So let me give a few special shoutouts. I want to say what's up to Danica, Ethan Your Boy, The Madison Region, Toaster Burns, Logan Skelton, Tyler Fallon, and some birthday shoutouts. So I want to say happy birthday to that school bag. Also to Kristen Miller, Chicken Lickin' as well. So thanks everyone, and plus all of you guys that follow me on Kick. It is K-I-L-Z-H-O-T. So here we go. Let's get into the Epic Five Star Army roster, show you a little bit of what we got going on. So as always, in the number one slot is still Rick. He was my first, and we got him Tier 4. I haven't done a whole lot with him. Still level 57, fully maxed. We will get around to getting him leveled up. I know some people want to see him brought out of retirement. We'll take a quick sneak peek. You guys know Turn the Tides. But that 76 AP just hurts me. And Scopely should have made it just a little bit quicker. I mean, he's a great character, but I really wish that was uh, fast instead of normal. So let's move on. The brand new uh, contender for number two. I think last time it was Romanov. So look at uh, Hot Rick. We got Hot Rick is 9 out of 10. Almost have him fully maxed with his AR. Got it to 62. It's going to be a little bit faster once we get it, but 275 damage. I mean, I love this AR. Just puts those hots. Heal over time, turn after turn. So Hot Rick has moved up in number two slot. Romanov. Romanov's number three, but he's still higher than he was the last time. Level 47, fully maxed. I got to do some videos with this guy. Still got to figure out which team we're going to break him in. But there you can see he is tier four, level 47. So uh, we can keep pushing, get this bad boy up to level 80 before long. Next, we got St. Abraham. I get a lot of questions with who is my favorite Walking Dead character in game. Abraham is. St. Abraham is, is by far. I love the versatility of this guy. I mean, my raid team, having this guy that can resurrect, you can see fully maxed, so he's fast, 58 AP. There's that 275% damage, the Revenant Strike that I've talked about. Plus, he's got that execution, which is really, really good in a pinch as well, too. We got Abraham up to level 33, so he is well on his way. So, a brand new contestant has moved up in my tier 4, and this is Carver. Nope, I'm not calling him Sawyer because. I want a Carver in game, and his ability is a time to carve. So Carver, my green dude with the chainsaw, carving him up. You can see I, I am nowhere close to leveling his adrenaline rush. I just pushed. I gave a lot of trainers to him. Now I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to feed him a lot of those rebel uh, characters and some rebel trainers as I get them. So I haven't used him as of yet in a, a whole lot because obviously he's just too slow to have a viable raid team built around him. Mirabelle. Man, I miss raiding with Mirabelle. She's fast, but if I put together a stunner team, I can definitely partner her maybe with uh, Sawyer Stun or Andrea Stun. So Mirabelle still is on the list. Alicia, got to like Alicia. Um, leveled her up a little bit, level 31, maybe one or two levels since the last video. So here's some new, uh, brand new characters that have hit Tier 4 recently. So Kenny, Tier 4, level 20. You guys know Hurt and Heal, fully maxed. Andrea, finally got her, one of my Andreas, to Tier 4. So her AP was maxed, I think, when she was like tier one. So no issues there. Michonne. Michonne is another one of my favorite characters. The versatility of this yellow tank. She's fast. She can hit all those characters. Minus 40% uh, percent attack. So she weakens them up. And then don't forget that human shield. Very, very important. Caroline. Caroline is still hanging on near the top of tier three. So the question is, no, I'm not spending a school bag and army walkie on Caroline right now. Um, maybe later on when I need somebody to do uh, scavenger missions, but neither one of these care lines are probably going to make it to Tier 4, at least in, uh, in the foreseeable future. Ben, a lot of people want to see Ears be the next person, so leave in the comments below. I know I ask this on a pretty regular basis, but he's very, very popular. I know the versatility. I like Ben, don't get me wrong, but that blue Maggie I got is also a very strong leader as well too. So you can see Ben, his leader skill, plus 30% defense against ranged characters. Um, but he kind of works with, with all teammates. All right, moving on. Let's talk about Andrea. So Andrea, all teammates, 45% attack against melee. So could work versus some of those yellow teams that you run into. Uh, give you a nice little boost. You can see not done a whole lot with her stunning shot. Still 70 AP. It's only 5 out of 10, so a little bit of work to go with that. Governor, I pushed him up during a level up tournament. Um, he's a good character, no doubt about it. I, I do like this guy. Uh, as you can see his recharge rate, it's kind of like Rick turn the tides, but he deals 350% damage up to three enemies and give you a little bit of that kind of hurt and heal effect as well too. Gives you a little bit of a parting shot, which I'm not real big on the parting shot, 
but I'll definitely use Governor in some scavenger missions and, and some very select raid teams. Oh, there it is. You got lead. Never forget this guy, 76 AP, but once again, he and Rick, I, I guess the thing is, you can't get a fast AP for something that's going to deal 425% damage to a line of enemies because it's such a strong um, ability there. And of course, it's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit long before it ticks. So you got uh, Lifesteal as well, too. Moving on, let's talk about the Wonder. I was so excited when I got this Wonder card. This one is another one. All ranged teammates get that 30% attack, 30% defense. This guy will be a part of a core raid team. Not sure which ones I want to throw him in there just yet, but you know, all ranged teammates, he that uh, leader ability. Is just super special. Garrett, Garrett was a uh, Garrett was a tank I used the most in the beginning with that red team. But once again, 76 AP is a tank. All teammates regain that heal. Garrett is not bad. Um, I do need to level him up a little bit more. Obviously, once I toughen him up, then uh, he'll be a little bit more usable. But he's still tier three. So uh, Garrett's somebody I'm going to work with a little bit more. But it's like you know you get these new characters and then you get excited to sort of push them up. And I think that's what I've ran into. Clementine. Um, you know, some people don't like this card a whole lot. I like the fact, I love the dot, you know, where just you can hit pretty much everybody turn after turn after turn. And then if they have those defensive shields up, it just keeps right on ticking. So I do like that ability. Brand new Jesus. I mean, look at all the people that I just passed with him. I just got this card two days ago. He's already tier three. A few more trainers and dude's going to be higher than the Wonder and, and Lee. And I've had those guys forever. So there he is. You can see Focus Slash. Uh, Messed around with him a little bit today, so I did a raid video and also just a uh, roadmap mission. But 650% damage, and I love this leader ability. All melee teammates get a large bonus to AP when attacking and 30% attack. So um, I I wish it was all teammates. I know that would be too broken because, man, I could put this guy with St. Abraham. But if you've got a green Herschel and you can put it with this guy's team, you can sort of mix match anything else you want. You could have one of those Michons with the spraying slice. I mean, you could have a Sawyer in there. This this has just such versatility. The new Rick I got in there with the uh, you know the hot seal over time, so I, I could definitely see some good comps with that. So let's move it on. Michonne. So Michonne is the Prestige Edition. I'm not sure how I feel about this card just yet because I haven't gotten it strong enough. I do have, um, well, I'd, actually I don't have it. I'm about to have Michonne's neck shackles because I'll go to Prestige 12 very very soon. So you can see. I'll be able to upgrade that, and once we upgrade that, oh, let's go back in. Got her 9 out of 10 right now, 275% damage. A lot of things working here, so I sort of got to figure out, um, you know, how that's going to work. But, you know, she basically has the ability to sort of spread that damage. She hits in the middle. It's a good hit, and at minus 45 attack and minus 45 defense, I guess that's what kind of makes it a broken card. And it is fast but not very, very fast. So it's not going to be like that 45 once I level it up, which, you know, for Prestige Edition, that would have been nice. Oberson, haven't used Obi. Obi thrice too much. Uh, 75 AP is a good card, but uh, got some better that I'm working with now. Mark, I got me a couple Marks. Mark, 45 AP. He's fast. All teammates get that 45% attack against alert characters. So kind of a niche character. And those just don't work quite as well anymore. There's Glenn, still working strong with Glenn. 8 out of 8, 58 AP. Glenn's a good card. i got to do something with him. Another duplicate, Andrea. Here's the Maggie I was talking about. All teammates, 30% attack and 30% defense against tough characters. So if, uh, if you're running into a lot of people playing as Andrea teams, this Maggie is like the anti-Andrea because she helps you out with uh, you know any vulnerabilities that you might have. And she's good for melee or for ranged. You can see very, very low. AP right now. Um, I'm not sure what her AP is when I fully max it out. So, but I, I know it's going to be fast. Uh, Gator, no, come on. Eventually, I will get Gator. I know there's some challenges out there for me to get Gator to tier four, but I'm not going to waste my last two army walkies and school bags to do that. A couple duplicate Andreas, you can see adrenaline rush maxed on those. Tyrese is another candidate. Got to get going. Morgan, haven't done a whole lot with Morg lately. There's the other Mark. Sandy. I do love the Sandy card. Glad I got it. Can't wait to get that wide swings actually uh, leveled up because that's a broken hit. Ezekiel coming soon to The Walking Dead, October 23rd. Um, Ezekiel's a good card too. We'll do something with him. There's a, dupli a duplicate Glenn. There's the Carl we finally got at long, long last. That was my uh, sweet reward. So 225% uh, damage. 
I'll build a team with uh, father son with Rick and Carl. There's another Caroline duplicate. And then we're down to the bottom of the barrel. I think I have 41 of the um, five stars now. So I remember, wow, it was like a year ago when I finally got my first one. So there's Dwight. Got a couple of Dwights in the last event. Still have to level them up. And, of course, Sophia as well, too. So all these have some possibilities. Look at Sophia. I mean, six already um, for her adrenaline rush. And she's only level 39. So, yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. I mean, sometimes you just get really, really lucky. And there's the other Dwight. So this was by request, and we got a chance to go through each of the uh, five stars that I'm working on. Leave your comments below. Let me know some team comps. You guys have seen a few of my teams, so you know stuff and things. Where's Rick? I'm going to revamp a few of these and try to get creative. Um, Hurt You Deep is the one I'm using the most, but obviously we got Burn Baby Burn with some Romanov in there. Chicks with Ricks was popular for a while. Sacred Smash is something I'm messing around with. I can tweak that a little bit. Rick's out for uh, Harimbe, using that for uh, some Walker stages. Walker Whackers, the Roman Candle. Uh, once again, another sacred team using Jesus on that, that brand new uh, one that I just got. Walker Whippers, going to break that down. Hot and Wide, that is uh, Hot Rick with uh, Wide Swing Sandy. Still have not leveled that up yet. Look who's tanking and then a few other ones. So thanks for watching. Leave some advice if you guys have a, a particularly effective team that you're using. My name is Killshot, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.